Let's remove what we did over here in the draw function, which as you recall, is a common pattern for D3 coding, and where we'll be doing most of our work. We're going to be working with some real screencast data from TagTree, so we declare a variable called screencasts over here. I'm opting to create this variable at this scope, because it will allow us to update this variable later on and call draw again, to see how our update logic handles it. Now we use the JSON function on D3 to make a XHR request to this URL at tag tree, bringing back the data we need, already passed two objects from a JSON formatted response we got from the server. So you don't need to pull in something like jQuery just because you want to get some data from a URL and pass some JSON. The second parameter to this call is a callback function that works with the data. Because we pulled in Tracer in a previous episode, we get to enjoy using the arrow syntax for declaring this function. And this argument that the function expects, we call data. This contains the deserialized JSON. In our case, this will contain an array of screencasts, which are objects containing a title of the screencast and the number of times it has been viewed.